forecast from the first alert weather team. Coming up on 512, it's good to see you on this Monday morning after a 4th of July weekend where rip currents a problem and today's baseline risk for east facing beaches in a moderate camp, at least low to moderate for our south facing beaches. Always pay attention to what your friendly local lifeguard has to say about that situation. Here's the situation on the official track of barrel. Usually it's a five day cone, but the National Hurricane Center identifies its remnants likely becoming diffuse and disassociating. So it's like a one, two, three day cone. Barrel punching up through the Mississippi and Ohio River Valleys. It made landfall near Matagorda, Texas just last hour. Let's get you outside and get the conversation back to the Cape Fear region with an Elizabethtown view. There's Broad Street, dry pavement on Business 87 in the heart of the seat of Bladen County. And your Bob King GMC First Alert Skycam Network can hop over to the Murkison Building in downtown Wilmington, where it is officially 78 degrees. That dew point of 74 makes a heat index already somewhat relevant. Feels like 81 in the Port City here at now 513. All over the map, temperatures running in the 70s to locally lower 80s for a steam bath of a July morning. And there's enough moisture in the right places for a few stray showers and downpours. A few lucky backyards and gardens getting in on some of that action, especially earlier. I noticed some orange and even red echoes lining up along Little River to Calabash and portions of Carolina shores. So some people waking up and saying, OK, wow, that was awesome. But, you know, for the most part, we are still in need of a lot of rain. Here's a lot of rain associated with barrel on the radar presentation. You can see that well defined circulation. Good to get that inland so that it doesn't have any more time over the very warm Gulf of Mexico water. Uh, maybe strengthening more if it didn't make that landfall. OK, here at home, our rain chances in the week ahead, fairly seasonable 30 to 40 percent daily baseline. Then an argument with a system kind of backing in from the Atlantic that that chance takes a step forward Thursday, Friday. Temperatures at the nights running in the 70s, rather consistent in the days, 80s handing off to 90s, akin to those higher rain chances, or at least the prospects for more clouds congesting our skies. Those numbers walking back a little bit for Thursday and Friday. Five days is great. How about 10 days in terms of your planning forecast? We'll put it all together into next weekend and next week trending back hotter again. So just a little divot there as far as our temperatures associated with those higher rain chances toward the end of the week. We'll keep an eye on it, Kim. Back to you.